Hi, my name is Prometheus and these are 5 reasons why Europe is the best place to live in from the perspective of a double passport owner. I spent 14 years away from Europe and Italy and the truth is I used to give it for granted when I used to live here for the first time. But not anymore because when you come back you have the contrast of living somewhere else and you notice all the things you didn't acknowledge first. These are the lessons in disguise that I learned from living abroad for more than a decade and coming back home. The city I chose to live in in Australia was Perth. If you don't know, it is the most isolated city in the world. It's in the middle of nowhere. So on the left you have the sea and an island called Rottnes. And on the right you have desert. On top you have desert, on the bottom you have desert. And here if you drive anywhere, if you fly anywhere, you can see different costumes, you can taste different food, you can hear different accents, and you have these amazing diverse landscapes everywhere and a lot of mountains. While in Australia you can drive for 18 hours and you have the same exact things, or you need to take a few hours flight to be in another region of the country. There are no clear seasons, to the point that they don't call solstice or equinox, they just have the first of a specific month where summer starts, the first of December for example. And here you see colors changing all the time, which comes with seasonal fruit and foods. And you see nature changing, actually changing. Summer, for example, there is very hot. There are 330 days of sun a year, which is amazing because people can stay out and jog and do exercise all the time. And you see it as a reflection within the people. You do a lot of sport because you can do sport outside all the time. But the thing is, you don't have clear season. You don't have, you don't have a cold winter. You don't have a colorful autumn. You need to rest sometimes. It's like the tides. You rest and then you explode in summer. You can go within and then you become social again in summer. And autumn and winter here gives you time to go in hibernation a little bit, take things lower, to enjoy nature getting colorful and crispy. And uh, you can go skiing mostly everywhere. There is not much snow left here, but there is snow. It's a few hours drive away and you have amazing mountains where you can ski with dozens and dozens of slopes, which I missed. I didn't ski for 14 years. You can go weekend after weekend to try seasonal, regional food. Every week of the year there is a different food festival and you can basically book yourself out with festivals every single weekend and try different seasonal fresh food and these markets are filled with people and celebrations and it's an event it's such a good event and the other thing is you have natural springs everywhere all around italy so you can go into places and pay for the facility or go outside where the natural hot water flows normally and jump into pools where all the people gather for free when you try something like this how can you not miss it there are mountains everywhere and for me it's extremely important because I grew up hiking with my parents all over summers and during winter as well. I used to go skiing and hiking. When I was 13 years old I hiked 43 kilometers in one day, back and forth. And everybody I tell the story to would say your parents were terrible with you. Actually I loved it. Hiking teaches you so many skills, it puts you in contact with nature, it grounds you, it develops so many instincts that you would not normally develop and it puts you in tune with your your surroundings, that you recognize plants and animals and nowadays everybody remembers celebrity names and games and useless stuff. While there you learn the songs of birds, plants, medicinal plants, how to orientate and so many things that eventually when you grow up they're actually useful. Plus it puts you in contact with nature. You walk away from technology and you listen to the silence, to the sound of a wood or a mountain. And I recommend to everybody to go in nature as much as you can. Go hiking, go for one day, for one weekend, for 10 days, but let people know where you go. Otherwise you end up like James Franco in 127 hours and it's not gonna end up well. You have to be very lucky. So make sure people know where you go and just leave your phone home or put in airplane mode or whatever but don't go in nature to post where you're going just detach from distractions and sink into your surroundings the other thing about living in australia and in europe is that their competition is so high so you either have to raise your standards or you disappear as a business as a professional so whenever you go in a bakery here you know you're gonna get excellence because if it's not excellent and there are other businesses around you you're gonna shut down and the same thing happens in every other business for example if you build a house there you already know that you should not expect the quality of the houses here and everybody is cheering for 
those houses and pay a lot of money for those. And most of them, they don't even have insulation. And you can apply the same concept to any other business. And I'm sure you will find faults. So it's good to be here and have some standards. And my favorite one, healthcare. When I was there, I was paying every month for healthcare. I had my Medicare card when I became a resident and a citizen, but I also had to pay for my private insurance. And sometimes it was a blessing because I almost drowned and the ambulance had to come and they sent me a bill of $1,000. But because of my insurance, I paid and they gave me the money back. Otherwise, I had to pay from my pocket. Like in USA, to the extent that well, sometimes you go into the hospital, they don't provide you assistance unless you present your insurance. And here you pay with the taxes. And it might take a long time if you don't pay, you just pay for the ticket. But if you pay extra, they provide you the service way faster. One week or two weeks compared to months. It's still great because you won't be let die in the streets like a stray dog. And you know you can rely to healthcare, like really rely on healthcare. The thing is this, your environment and the people and the things you surround yourself with eventually will influence you. There are studies on this. And we're not all the same. When I was living in Perth for 10 plus years, I thought I loved being there because it's always hot. There are 330 days of sun a year. Even in winter, it goes to 6 degrees in the morning, 20 plus degrees in the afternoon. So you don't really feel it's winter. And I thought it was great for my body, which it was, because I was never getting sick. But coming back here now, it's cold. I love cold. I love to feel it's chilly. I love to go out in the morning and see my breath. But you need to understand what your body copes and thrives with. And to understand that, you need to test it and expose yourself to different things and see which one don't work. And eventually you have to set boundaries, either non spoken if it's environment or spoken ones if it's people. It's important because it will define the rest of your life, the choices you make. If you want to understand what works for your body, there is a discipline that made it extremely easy. It's called Ayurveda. If you want to understand how your body works and what choices to make based on your body type, you will find a link in the description for a free PDF. You can download it and learn everything you need to know about yourself within a few pages and it will completely change the trajectory of your life. Download the thing, let me know how it goes and I'll see you in the next video.